WhatsApp is one of the world's most popular messaging apps, but it's not perfect and sometimes runs into issues. My name is Adullah. You're watching Candido Technology, and in this video, we're talking about how you can fix problems with WhatsApp. The first thing you're going to have to do is check whether or not uh, WhatsApp servers are up to date. Now, this can be done quickly with a simple Google search. You can just search for is WhatsApp down. And you will come across a bunch of websites like Site247 or uh, Down Detector, which is uh, one of the most popular websites to see if there is a problem with a service that you're trying to use. And it works for pretty much everything. So if you have problems sending messages or uh, getting WhatsApp to connect to the internet, you can open up Down Detector and see if WhatsApp is having any problems. Alternatively, it's also a good idea right now to check whether or not you have an active internet connection. If you can Google uh, a problem with WhatsApp and reach down detector on your phone, chances are uh, your internet is working fine. But you should check to see if you're on Wi-Fi, uh, if your mobile data isn't working, or if you're on mobile data, if Wi-Fi seems to be the issue. Now, one of the first things that you should do when encountering any issues with an app, uh, especially a social media app, is to check for updates. You can do this by heading over to the Play Store on your Android phone or the Apple App Store if you have an iPhone and then head over to your profile icon, tap on manage apps and devices and then tap on the updates button. This will show you all of the pending updates that you have on your phone and as you can see I do have a WhatsApp update pending. I can just tap the update button and WhatsApp will automatically start updating after which all of uh, the issues should be resolved. If updating the app didn't help, you can try and manipulate the app's data in order to get it back up and running. Now to do this, the first thing we're going to do is head over to our settings, tap on apps, then tap on see all apps. And we're going to find WhatsApp in this list. Once you found WhatsApp, tap on it. And now you'll see uh, a number of options here. The first thing that you can try is to tap on force stop and then restarting an app. This is a way of soft resetting an app to get it up and running again. If that doesn't work, tap on storage and cache and you can clear out the app's cache and then launch the app again to see if that fixes your problem. If that doesn't work either, you can go ahead and tap on the clear storage button to remove all app data, which means you'll have to log in again, but then you get to most likely resolve the issue. Last but not least, if nothing else works, your best bet is to uh, completely reinstall the app in question. Now you can do this by heading over to the app info page as we showed in the previous step before and then tapping the uninstall button. Alternatively, you can also do this from the home screen, just tap and hold the icon, move it and then you can go and drop it in the uninstall section to completely remove the app. Once you're there, you can head over to the official Play Store or an uh, Apple App Store to go ahead and reinstall the app, log in again and that should fix the problem. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.